are here in this beautiful town of Fuji, Kawaguchiko, and I'm looking this way and I have an insane view of Mount Fuji, and this way I have Kawaguchi Lake. Oh, I love this place so much. We're gonna try to find the best view of Mount Fuji right now, so I think we're gonna walk across this lake over the bridge to the other side so that we can get a view of the lake and of Mount Fuji, and I just think it's gonna be amazing. We've only walked a few steps, but we noticed that you can go out onto the lake over here, just like on a little rock, so we're gonna walk out there, and I bet the view is gonna be amazing. We walked out on this little area where there's like rocks. We're not like in the middle of the lake, but we're just like kind of on the side of it. I really love about this town that there is just mountains everywhere and then of course if we turn around we have the view of Mount Fuji the tallest mountain in Japan The plan is still to make it over to that side of the lake and still explore more of the town, but we're just enjoying being here so much and there's a stand right there for like hot dogs and hamburgers. Just feels like we just need to enjoy the day and just sit here and eat some food. Honestly, we need to sunbathe a little because we have not seen the sun like this bright in so long. So we're just gonna go get some food, have a picnic here, stare at Mount Fuji. How does it get better than that? I mean, I don't think that it does. This is unreal. The stand has hot dogs, burgers, fries, and something called cheese dog. So we're excited to try all of it. I am most excited for the venison burger. They said I had to translate it because everything's like in Japanese. There's some English words, but the guide also doesn't speak English. It said that the venison burger was made with deer from Mount Fuji. And so I figured, I have to try it. There's tables here that you can sit at and enjoy your food, but we're gonna take it back over there so we can get a nice view of Mount Fuji. We carried our food over here. Jacob's running back to get a coat because there's a vending machine, and this is our view. It just, I mean, that doesn't even look real. It was $20 for the full meal, which is a little bit pricey, but of course we're paying for the convenience being right here on the lake. So let's go try it and see if it's good. Yay, thank you. Jacob, these fries are so good. Ooh. This is amazing. Let's try this uh, cheese dog. I don't know if there's gonna be like a hot dog in it and cheese. What? This is so weird. Okay, it honestly tastes like a donut with cheese in it. Like the outside's super sweet and like literally just tastes like, well, fried dough, but like sweet. And there's like a little tiny bit of cheese in there I like it, I definitely like it, but it's very interesting. The venison burger comes with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and I'm assuming that the red sauce is ketchup. What does venison taste like? What does it taste like? Like- Well, cause it's deer, right? Mm -hmm. So, like it tastes pretty similar to beef, like just like a cow, but it like, I just feel like it's a little more flavorful. This reminds me a lot of Moss Burger, well, this tastes way better than Moss Burger, honestly. But when we went to Moss Burger, we didn't know that you're supposed to like leave it in here when you eat it so that all the sauce piles up down here. And it kind of looks like this guy that just has this random stand kind of modeled it after Moss Burger because there's a lot of sauce down there. We finished our lunch and we're walking through the town now making our way towards the bridge. We noticed that there was like this batting cage behind us. Japan loves their baseball. And so we actually saw quite a few of these batting cages when we were taking the bullet train to get here. I think I counted like 10 of them, just like in the countryside near small towns. It's pretty cool. We are about to go up on this bridge, but I have a feeling the view of Mount Fuji is going to be insane from up there. The higher you get, the better the view, so this is about to be amazing. Okay, I was definitely right. It's getting so good. Coming up on this bridge was definitely the right decision. We all know that Mount Fuji is tall, the tallest mountain in Japan, but it's also so wide. It goes from way over there to way over 
Oops, there. <laughs> Guys, this doesn't even look real. This is definitely the best view we've had so far. We're walking on this little bike path right now. We can't really see Fuji because there's so many trees, but it's like really green and there's lots of mosquitoes in here. So quickly put on my sweater. I thought I would be using this today because I was gonna be cold, but I'm using it for protection from mosquitoes instead. We found some stairs over here. We just saw some people climb down them. So I guess we're gonna go up. I'm sure there's a great view at the top. This is mildly terrifying. There's like no rails, so hopefully the wind doesn't get too strong. Can't really see Mount Fuji too much, but there is this really pretty uh, offering. It looks like you can put your offerings here. It was only a few stairs, but why am I so out of breath right now? We made it down to the shore of the lake and check out this view. It's time for our famous travel segment, taking a polar plunge in the lake. We really want to, but it's actually illegal to swim in this lake, but I am gonna go see what it feels like. Apparently it's just like really deep and kind of dangerous out there. So I guess it's good that nobody swims in it. It's definitely not that cold, but I'm sure the deeper you got, the colder it would get. But Jacob and I love doing polar plunges. We did them in Iceland, Finland, Norway. We just love it so much, but we're not allowed to here. Did I skip? Three times? Yeah. Nice. We started walking the other way around the lake to get a different view of Fuji and also see what else is over here around Kawaguchiko. Looks like there is lots of hotels, but it makes sense because you got this <laughs> amazing view. We've been seeing these giant swan boats all over the lake and we found the place where you can rent them. It's like $20 for about 30 minutes, so not super expensive. Might be cool if you want to get out on the lake and don't have a boat. Why would we pay $20 for a boat for 30 minutes when we could just hop on one of these real animals? <laughs> oh my god. This walking trail is so nice because you're off the road, you're right on the lake, you have views of these beautiful mountains. This is so nice. This is from Japan's greatest sculptor, Sibo Kichimura. He was 101 years old when he visited Kawaguchiko, and then he spent the next two years building this. There's a vase with a positive it's like energy, positive energy, and then like negative energy, and it like combines it into one, and it's called source. Just impressive that he was so old. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you need him, Lawson is always there. <laughs> we are here at the convenience store, probably grabbing a little bit of dinner, maybe like a snack, and maybe a drink, because we're pretty thirsty. We might have gone a little bit crazy in there. What a wonderful, relaxing, amazing day. We just like, we've been to Tokyo, we've been to Sapporo, we've been to Kyoto. We liked all three of those, but this is definitely our most favorite spot. It's just amazing. The cherry blossoms in Sapporo are hard to beat though. Yeah, so if you want to come to a place like this, I mean, there's like five different lakes around Fuji that you can also go to. If you want to see our cherry blossom video, I will put that here. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you so, so, so much. See you in the next video.